Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the proxy design pattern. So let's get started. So proxy design pattern is a part of a structural design pattern which will allow us to create a proxy object or a reference object to an actual object that we can use easily without having a too much load on the actual objects. Confusing right? But it's really easy. Let's get into the example and let's understand more about the proxy design pattern. So let's take a real world example and understand from it. So whenever we go for a shopping, we have to pay for the things that we have purchased, right? So for that, suppose I am creating the application or let's take the real world example that whatever you will purchase for that, you will do the payment, right? So consider this is the payment interface and this payment interface will have the payment method like pay method. Okay that I'm going to pay. Now, ideally, whatever the payment you do, that has to be within the cash, right? But it is not necessary that you have to pay via cash only. You can pay via credit card, debit card, UPI, or whatever the different payment system available, right? Suppose you say you are paying using the credit card. Suppose you say you are paying using the ATM or debit card. Suppose you are doing online transaction, like right? you can see that you are doing a lot of different methods or you can do cash as well, right? At the end, all the transaction is a proxy. All these are a proxy for a cash system, right? At the end, everything is a cash, right? Because whatever the money we pay, that represents the cash, right? So at the end, you can see that everything represents the cash, but these are all the proxies of a cash. Like rather paying cash to the shopkeeper, what you do is you use the credit card to pay to that particular shopkeeper and you are happy that you do not have to uh, carry all the cash and go for the shopping and the shopkeeper will also have the benefit like they don't have to take the cash and go to the bank and deposit the cash as well right so that's a win-win situation and you can see that that is possible using the proxy object that is the credit card or a debit card or any online transaction that you do right so you can see that there is a lot of complexity resolved by just using the any proxy things available within the system if i take one more example okay if i take the bank account here suppose what you do in a bank account is you deposit the money okay or you withdraw the money and you, you can check the account as well okay check account information all the things you can see all these particular things depositing money withdrawing money checking the account balance and everything that you can do by visiting the bank for your bank account okay but the similar thing you can do using the proxy of the bank account that is the atm you can go to the atm and you can withdraw the money right and you can check the account balance for depositing the money. You can go to the deposit machine and you can deposit the money as well. So that's the another proxy for the bank account. And then you can see that it will have or it is the implementation of the bank account itself because from your bank account only you are getting all this information. You are withdrawing the money, but that's a proxy object for you, right? You do not have to directly go to the bank. You can go to the nearest ATM and you can get those information. So that's a proxy thing for you. So it's just a feasible thing that allows you to not go directly to the main object, not go directly to the bank itself, right? So that's the proxy design pattern. So this is how we will be implementing the proxy design pattern in our example as well. So let's take the same example of a bank account and ATM here and let's see how we can easily implement it. We can implement using the interface here. So let me just give you a brief of that as well. So if I go here, I have created the folder for the proxy design pattern. I will share this with you in the description of this video. And here you can see that I have added the theoretical part as well and the references as well from where I have taken up this example. And here you can see that I have the account interface available here. Okay. And this account interface, you can see that it has two methods. One is withdraw method and one is get account number method. Two simple methods are there for your account interface. And this account interface is being implemented by the bank account. Now bank account is implementing the account, which will force us to implement this two methods. That is the withdraw and the get account number here. These two things are implemented here. Now what I'm doing is I am creating the proxy object. This proxy object should also be implementing the account interface here and that proxy should have the actual object itself when it wants to refer. Okay. That's the ideal definition. So if I go to the ATM, you can see that ATM is implementing the account here. Okay. As this is the proxy of a bank account. Okay. And it has the object of the bank account here. So you can see that though it is implementing the bank account, it has the object of a bank account because it's a proxy for the bank account and you can perform the operation on that particular bank account. Okay. So rather than directly calling the bank account, you can directly create the object of the ATM and do the same operation. And within that operation, you will have the actual object that will do the operation for you. 
okay so now you can see that i have added that you can do all the access controls validation check pin checks and everything here so that extra things also you can do or you can add on top of the actual business logic okay so all those things you can do with the help of the proxy design pattern with the help of a proxy object where actual call is been delayed until and unless you actually need it right so until and unless you are validated when you go to the atm until and unless you are validated with your pin details your account number and everything it is not ideal to get or it is not ideal to connect to the bank to withdraw the money right so till that part all the process has been done here and then the bank account object is created and the withdraw method has been or withdraw behavior has been called for that particular bank account so you can see that the proxy object will help us a lot in optimizing our application as well so this is how you'll be implementing the proxy design pattern i'm trying to make it as simple as possible i'm not using any complex examples or anything i'm just using very simple examples so you get this gist of it you get the understanding rather than how complex it can get right so that's why i'm trying with the simple examples here if you're still facing any difficulties then do let me know in the comment section below i'll try to help it out as soon as possible and if you like this video then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos you can also click on join button to